Yo, what's going on my guys? How's it going on? Welcome on back. I hope you've all been enjoying the faction blessing this week. I've been having great fun with all the different dark domain faction blessings or all the different dark domain decks. I've been using Vampire, Reaper, Crystal Mancer, Cultist. There's so many good decks that you can use in that dark domain faction blessing and the extra 10% speed boost is unbelievable. But like I said, we are jumping in with Vampire DPS today my guys and so let's see if we can get it rocking and rolling. We need to be ranking up our vampires getting them on them j tiles we want to be finding some nice trappers to be getting them defense drops that are rising and obviously we need some nice statues some nice statues some nice night nice statues one of them two my guys we need some nice night nice statues to be increasing our crit chance increasing our speed and just doing the absolute most amount of damage but how are we all doing my guys i hope you're all having a great weekend i hope you're all enjoying the faction blessing like i said let me know what you are running down in the comments below. Are you making use of the Faction Blessing? Are you just running your normal deck? Are you playing Merge Arena, my guys? There's a lot of Merge Arena coming out on my channel recently, and I want to know if you're playing it, enjoying it. Are you liking the videos? We've got two beautiful vampires on our J tiles there, so we're going to be keeping them, making use of them. But we need to be finding two more on them top two tiles. Well, we don't really. We could probably work with just two vampires, to be honest. That's how good or how strong vampire DPS can be. Especially if we do get some decent night statues, get the increase on them. We're running that Covenant of Veterans today. So we do only need the two on the two on the board or the equal amount on the board. Two, four, six, eight. Them sort of numbers. Obviously we are only looking for the two. We don't want any more of that. We haven't got Scrapper in here because we have got our very own sort of Scrapper with the Vampire. So we don't need to be running that Scrapper in here today. Out. Oh, 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 yes, I came on this morning and Scrapper Talents have been leaked, announced, released. Uh, whatever they are, they have been announced. I am um, the general public of Rush or the general random nation. Know all about them Scrapper Talents now. And they're looking alright, my guys. But Scrapper not working with Dryad now is going to be very interesting. Or the way that, or the fact that it needs twice the amount of eats to be able to get that level up is going to be very interesting. It's going to be nice. I think it's going to be a good change. It's going to stop people running dry and scrapping together, which is obviously getting you them easy level ups. And obviously with a lot of units being able to eat other units now, like the Vampire, the Riding Hood, things like that, I think it's going to make for a very interesting change, to be honest. So I think we're going to be looking very nice after that. I think we are. Lovely little merge up there for the Earth Elemental. That's exactly what we were looking for. Still looking for that second Dryad, but we're looking good on that second, or that first Dryad, shall I say. We're looking very good on him. He's up at the merge three. He's got the four increments as well, so he's not looking too bad. We just need to find that second one next to it, and we'll be looking absolutely Gucci, my guys. Absolutely gravy. But I've been making a little bit of slow progression recently, my guys. I haven't improved too much over the past season. And I do have to admit, I didn't buy last season's season pass, so it's kind of my fault. Uh, but, you know, things happen, and sometimes you just can't afford to buy it every month, and... The such, but there we go, finding our last, last night's statue that we needed there, so we're looking good on that department now, we've got some lovely earth elementals kicking around the board, we're looking good guys, we just need to be working on their mergers now, working on some levels, if we can try and get a high merge vampire, another high merge vampire will be looking decent, and them night statues are looking absolutely gorgeous now my guys, absolutely sound as a pound, so let's just keep them night statues are clear, as soon as one of them do, as soon as one of them vampires do stop with their charge, or cool down from their charge, or Whatever you want to call it, my guys, we will go ahead and get that night statue in the corner eaten. There we go. So we're looking good. We're looking gravy, guys. One more merge, one dryad, and we'll be able to merge a second vampire up to the merge three. Or we could try and save up and maybe get to the merge four on this left-hand side, but we'll have to wait and see, my guys. We'll have to wait and see. Eating the merge one night statue there just in time for Gorgon to be coming out. Not that I'm even worried about the Gorgon, my guys. Not one bit. But no, that was a quick jump of conversation. Sorry, I got caught up in the gameplay a little bit. No, like I was saying though, let me know what you think of the Dryad and Scrapper changes. Do you like the sound of the Scrapper talents? Do you like the sound of the Scrapper and Dryad changes? A few little changes with other units, like there's a little bit of a cooldown change on the Banshee Shriek time, cooldown change on the Cultist time, a few things like that. I think it's gonna be a gen generally it's gonna be a cool update, I think. I think it's gonna be quite a fun update. Obviously we're always looking for ways to decks to improve and decks to be different and for not everyone to be running the same units, the same decks all the time. So I think the Dryad and Scrapper change is going to be quite nice. Oh, and Sword is going back up to hitting three units as well, which I was a bit surprised at. I'm not sure why that's being implemented. I do think Sword's quite balanced at the minute, but we'll have to wait and see. If anything, maybe Sword needs to be given a, like, a little speed boost as well. 
then I suppose that's why it doesn't give the speed boost because it's not a permanent unit so you do have that chance of running banner rather than having to run say the knight statue gives you a crit and speed boost that's where you could run sword and banner for example for example but there we go getting our vampire switch back on there we pull our way right on back absolutely gorgeous guys we're looking gravy Oh, I just realised that we come up against the level 11 crystal match. I haven't even looked at my guy's deck this entire game, but he's looking alright. He's not running that sword or statue though, so that's probably going to be his downfall, unfortunately for him. But there we go, getting him turned back on again, just in fine for Gorgon, getting him taken out easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no problems at all, my guys. No problems at all, but I don't want to say too much about this crystal mancer actually, because the crystal mancer v crystal mancer video, I don't know if you saw it, where I was running the crystal arcanist and he was running the high arcanist, he did manage to hold out in there just a little bit longer than I did, but I do believe that was all because of my Knight Statues, unfortunately. Maybe if I could do it again and get some higher Merge Knight Statues, maybe run a different couple of units, we might be looking at some different damages, but we'll have to wait until next time for that one, my guys. We'll have to wait until next time. Oh, we're getting the Merge 2 Knight Statue there. That was a disgusting merge up. And, oh, we got that one there, so we can go ahead. Oh, there we go. That one just switched off in time. I just about saw that there. And now we only need one more to cool down and get it eaten, so that ain't too bad, my guys. Bedlam coming out shouldn't be too bad. We haven't reached too far in the wave yet, so I do believe that I'm still going to be able to take him out pretty easily. Getting the Night Statue switch back on, and now that they are switched back on, I know that I'm going to be taking him out easy peasy, especially with the help of that J. Level 10 J was a game changer, guys. Let me tell you, I was so happy when I got that level 10 J. It absolutely does work. And there we go, taking Bedlam out, easy peasy, level square. Oh, I thought my guy was getting the flip then. I really did think he was getting the flip off then. Old Monza, very, very lucky there. Maybe this is the round where he goes down and out because we are holding on beautifully. Absolutely wonderfully. If I could try and... I haven't really managed to get any more decent merges than any of my units. My board just keeps filling up. Oh, there we go, there's a Dryad. Oh, there we go. I can get myself a beautiful merge four vampire now. And that's... About the best we can do at the minute. We haven't actually dropped too many dryads this game, have we, my guys? We're only on three pink dryads at the entire game as well. Oh, and that's just reminded me that apparently there's a dryad nerf inbound as well. Dryad nerf inbound as well. Going down from 50% damage increase to a 30% damage increase in total. And the blue fairy is not going to be giving you mana anymore. Not that I see many people running that blue fairy anymore. But still, that was one of the reasons that people did run the blue fairy for the extra mana. Yeah, good game, my guys. It was well played. Very well played. He got a decent amount of charges, but without that sword, without that statue, he's just not going to be going the distance, unfortunately. Don't know why he's running that frost either. Maybe he hasn't unlocked Trapper yet. Maybe he's... I would still definitely be running Chemist over that Trapper, but... Oof! Oof! A little bit close for us there as well, guys. I wasn't sure if we were taking ours out there. But we did. But no, some big changes coming in this next update, and I think they're all pretty welcome. I don't think any of them are too bad. The dry eye change is a little bit heavy. But I do think everything else is quite fair, quite rounded, quite balanced. They are balanced changes, so I do think they're quite nice. My guy's getting flipped into oblivion and he's 100% taking a hit here. No way does he take this guy out. But no. There we go, he's going to be taking that hit. Bang, there we go. Leaving him with a merge one. It's ruthless how that does it to him. Ruthless. It gave him two merge trees. Oh, there we go, he's managed to get another one. But it gave him two merge trees on the board and it actually roof eyed him and gave him the merge one high arcanist i can't believe it when it does things like that but oh is this one gonna make it oh no he managed to take it out with his j holding it out in there just another few seconds fair play to him if he could make it another round that would be absolutely awesome but i don't think that he does unfortunately we managed to get that earth elementalist eaten as well before it does get taken out by that horrible shaman lion so that's not too bad for us and this deck speaks for itself, guys. It's absolutely insane. Absolutely beautiful. Whoa, don't be looking at that crit difference there. We had over a K crit more than this guy. Absolutely ridiculous matchmaking. But it is the beginning of the season, my guys. Season. New season shenanigans. We love to see it. We absolutely do. What a game, my guys. Make sure you're leaving a like on the video for that one. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. We're jumping straight into another one. And we're coming up against that disgusting witch. It is that disgusting one as well because he hasn't got that horrible or that beautiful a gift of the raven eye. Absolutely ruthless. So we're going to be getting hit by the witches the entire game. We've got some lovely positioning on the J tiles and the tax tiles to be honest. So we're not going to be complaining about that. If we can get some good vampires and some good earth elementalists on them. We get some knight statues banging the centre. 
we'll be doing a business. Bish bash bosh, ready to go, real good nosh my guys. Bangers and mash for tea, sausages of the business, bit of gravy, mwah, chef kiss. But there we go, enough of that. What are you having for tea tonight my guys? Let me know down in the comments below. What a random question. But we all love the randomness of the videos, that's why we come, that's why we stay. That's what we all like to say. Where's my internet connection gone away? No, seriously, where's it gone? Oh, he's disconnected. The guy with the dirty witch cannot keep up. Oh, he can't cope. He didn't want none of the smoke. Uh, apparently, we can't find that statue where we want it either, my guy. So we're going to be merging, looking to try and get rid of them bits there, there and everywhere. And I like the fact that we've got our green tiles covered in vampires, but we do need to be merging on them green tiles before we actually get what we need on them tiles. So we'll have to wait. We want wait and see what we want to be doing with that. Oh, my guy's back. My guy's back. Good, good. No, my tablet's at five percent. No, what are you doing? We managed to find ourselves a nice night statue there, which ain't too bad. A lovely night statue there, might I add. Merge two straight off the bat, and he's sending over them horrible witches. He's sending over them horrible witches, and we dropped another night statue exactly where we want it, guys. Exactly where we were looking for it. Can we ask for anything more? I don't think so. That is what we like to see. Lovely jubilee. <laughs> and I can't the spell coming into effect and cleansing that night statue. Not that we needed it, we're just going to be getting it merged off, but we like the fact that our counter spell is coming into effect anyway, my guys. Oh, and there we go, he's missing that night statue because I got it merged up in time. Absolutely wonderful. I mean, like, I'm getting cocky, guys, but if he does hit one of my vampires that I switched on doing the business, I am done for. So, we need to be a little bit careful on that one. Alright then, Warlock coming out. Not too bad, not too bad. We should be able to deal with the Warlock. We are going to be able to deal with the Warlock, my guys. These first few rounds are easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nothing much is going to be happening in these couple of first couple of rounds, are they? Unless we do get greased up by a witch or we do get greased up by the RNG. But pretty safe to say that we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing, my guys. Alright, what do we want to be doing here, though? If we try and find another night statue that one moved off, that would be nice, but... Unfortunately it didn't. There we go, getting the merge up there. 6% increase in damage for our beautiful vampires now, or our beautiful damage tiles, shall I say. Because we do have an Earth Elemental down there on that bottom right hand side, so it is vampires and Earth Elementals doing the business. Working hand in hand, that beautiful synergy, that beautiful synergy, that venom synergy. And there we go, getting the merge four night statue in the centre there. He's gonna be helping us out massively. He's already on a five increments as well. So as long as we can keep merging up around him, keep getting them beautiful level ups on the vampires around him, the merge two knight statue that's underneath him, we'll just be able to keep going with them increments. It's not very often that I run Covenant of Veterans, to be honest, my guys. I do find that the Sharpened Spear is much easier to be able to get them increments on them. I find that you can get much more on the board. You can get obviously three, unit, three statues on the board so you can hit everything that you need to. I don't... I don't see many decks running Covenant of Veterans now, to be honest. Blade Dancer, yes, because there's a lot of levelling up going around him. Sometimes Inquisitor, but I do see a lot of Inquisitor just running the One Night Statue now as well, so... Maybe Covenant of Veterans does need a little bit of a change, a little bit of a boof. Then if it gets to boof, will it become massively overused? I don't know. I don't know, my guys. Getting switched on just in time to set that Warlock out there, it was a little bit scary. And of course our counter spell hits that night statue. Of course it does. My vampire needs cleansing. My dark domain vampire needs cleansing, guys. My dark domain vampire needs cleansing. So my amulet and my jacket are both dark domain. None of them are kingdom alike. Oh, they're both kingdom alike. It's a kingdom alike set. Right, never mind. Never mind. Shut up, Cedric. Shh. They both have as much chance as each other of getting cleansed. If anything... <laughs> The uh, Kingdom of Light units have more chance of getting cleansed than my Dark Domain units, I think. So let's just not get too rowdy on what things are getting cleansed and what's not. Let's just hope and pray that that lovely Merge 3 can get cleansed at some point, or we can drop another one where that Dryad's just dropped, because that would be rather lovely as well. I mean, again, my guy, he's running no Knight Statue, he's running no Sword, he's not running the Gift of the Raven Witch, so he's not getting any really decent damage increments from anything. Not too sure what what dryad he's using, but he's not got any numbers on his dryad as of yet. So I do think he's using that blue one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, guys, new season shenanigans. So you're not going to be seeing 
all of the best meta decks just yet because people are still climbing, people are still messing around. It's the start of the season, people are just having fun. But we've got two of our vampires healing. Two of our vampires healing up, my guys. Whoa, I was with the lag just as Grandmaster was coming out. I was so lucky that he didn't get the hit off on us then, my guys. Ruthless. As you can see as well, my voice is slowly but surely recovering. We're not looking too bad on our voice department now, on our vocal cords. We're looking alright. We're looking a-okay, my guys. Tell you what, we're not really looking a-okay on this game, though. It's trappers and earth elementals. I mean, like, everything on my board is basically healing. I have no idea how we're keeping our wave back so well. Only because we have that one merge three vampire that's not healing up, thank goodness. If he gets hit, it's game set and match, unfortunately. Ah, things are creeping around anyway already. Look at it. We need this counter spell to kick in. Come on. And actually hit something decent. Hit another vampire, that would be nice. I mean, like, we've got to level up on the trapper there. So we do have the mercury trapper on the board now. So he's going to be doing a lot more work than what a couple of merge ones are going to be doing. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. And we're now able to get rid of that statue as well. That's why I love vampires so much. Because you don't need that scrapper. You can use it as a scrapper and eat them units. Yes, you're not getting the level ups. But you are keeping your board absolutely clear as day. It's wonderful to see. And yeah, Jay's helping out massively there, my guys. Jay is absolutely killing it there. Thank goodness. Because we weren't switched on. Our night statues were switched off and... I just don't know if we have got that damage with them two healing there, I really don't. I mean, they're not doing too much because they're not actually switched on in that damage mode, so they are only biting things and doing their base damage, so they're not healing up for too much. Don't think the Earth Elementals are healing up for too much, because again, they only heal up for base damage. So we're looking alright, we're actually overrunning this guy a tiny bit with that Banner Lord there, he's got his Banner Lord creeping around just a bit further than we have. Oh, no way. As if our counter spells not come into effect and actually healed up any of our vampires. If we just had one of them heal up, I think we'd be doing a little bit better work than what we are. Come on, this is close, guys. I think we're both making it through to Puppeteer, which is obviously what we like to see. We don't want to be boning at that. We're both making it through to the boss. But if he gets the move off on us, we're not going to be looking nice. I could get moved absolutely ruthless. He could move everything off of them tiles, which would be absolutely wounding for us. 8 mil on this guy. 8 mil on this puppeteer, man. All because my units are healing up so much. And there's the move, and there's the takeout. Ruthless. He's moved them two night statues onto the damage tiles, and unfortunately the damage doesn't transfer through the night statues like it does your grindstone or your stone gargoyle, things like that. But we do still have one vampire on that J-Tile so hopefully we can get that J-Tile coming into effect keeping things back absolutely wonderfully come on are we going to be making it through to double bosses this time that's the question whoa we sent on a that was the first witch he sent over in rounds my guys but it's not really hitting anything useful for him so that's what we like to see but as you can see all well not all my vampires but the two vampires are still healing but there we go did he quit I don't know if he quit or I don't yeah he definitely didn't take the loss but he quit my guys and we take those dubs every single day my guys absolutely wonderful that's exactly what we like to see we'll take that chest jump out of there jump into here oh a little bit of lag what's going on there we go collect our hey more J's thank you very much and that's where we're going to be leaving this video I think my guys I hope you have enjoyed it make sure you're dropping a like if you have subscribe to the channel if you are new around here vampire dps coming in clutch especially with that 10 percent extra speed boost off that faction blessing this is your boy cedric i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you all in the next one peace